you know, the doula gets back. And then we're going to do our losers bracket. You know, you know the, the classic doula, Honey Nut Doolios. Another, another classic, you know, Cool Lance Doolitos. I would be too. Oh, wait. I would be too. All these, oh, these were back in the day with him. Uh, what was that? No, that was really good. With a very, very good set. We only got three love those so much, the white and the red. 9.43. Pretty good start. Yeah. Once, once I'm dual, uh, once I'm dual gets back, I'm gonna be heading out. I, I didn't even, I did not even intend to stay this long. All right. Um. You know, that's what happens when you have Smash here. You can break this. Oh, and also, you guys, don't forget, uh, Tuesday nights so we'll uh, be having a uh, Smash Fest. Well, not like not specifically a Smash Fest, but like you know, everyone can come out. And, Play Smash and uh, play Rivals of Aether, so that's really happy. Is that going? Is that going to be here or? Here. Yep, at Legendary Road. At Legendary Road. Oh, yeah. on, on Tuesday. It's Tuesday nights from like seven thirty to eleven. Okay. So you beat now, hold on. Really All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're also doing this. There's also the Smash Fest at uh, at Next, Next Gen on Thursdays. Yep. Next Generation on Iceland. Thursdays. Iceland. Yeah. When, uh, when we have our Next Gen Smash events. Alright. So we got Losers on the Wii. Losers on 5. Losers on 5. Alright. Ken Lever versus Tony. So I heard the match was like kind of bad. Yeah. Alright. We got to print the white rewards right now. He's like, yo, my white rewards better than yours. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> you have the kingdom? Oh, that's cute. Basically, he's like, I have the galaxy. <laughs> Here's my ship. So this is not a match that, that I've actually seen before. Tony has a pretty solid peach. No one really yeah, knows goes, the peach. Yeah, there goes Luma, I mean... What, so this what I do know what that he does a lot is uh, pressure with the down air when you're floating. As he should. Yep. It definitely has some good movement. Great, great. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things that you have to you have to be excited about with Peach. That's the second time I actually seen him hit with Toad on stream too. And that goes Luma again. Good, you, good use of to uh, Toad stall. He does. He does seem a little bit off his game. But like he's missing like some punishes that I saw him, you know get before. And unfortunately, got the flying hand instead of the golf club. Kenley waited. You know, knew he was going to uh, use the the bait. Tom. Tom, where are you? I need you. Why do you need me? I got a question for you. What? I have a question. Oh, right. Good back, good back there. We have to get back to that. There we go. There goes Luma again. So Kenley has been playing the majority of this match without Luma. That's that's for certain. Oh, good up there coming to, uh, coming back from the sea. Yep, they have the first stock right there. Had have Luma back makes a lot of difference. Good forward aim and the dash attack. And there goes the up air strings. Too, uh, too low of percent. Uh, yeah. But still, anytime you get up that high, at that low percent, that's just... So scary though. Nice little B reversal up there. I do like how Tornado does that down air. You know, the down air right by the ledge is covering all the all the up. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's it's good. I mean the only thing I don't think it covers is roll. Maybe a roll, but still he you would have enough float, you know, float to get back and actually punish that. Probably. Or maybe even maybe even a drop down back air. You'd have to like read it. Yeah. 
So that's one I, that's I do know that he goes forward and then back. So he has a pattern. I do. You see? He goes forward and then a little bit and then back. Yeah. I think at that time he might have been just wait, using that to to uh, get the Luma. Position himself, yeah. Because as you know, it's as as he started coming back, Luma was right there and got smacked in the face with that forward there. Oh, that's punch right there. Tell him with the death tag. That's, that's also something else. That I, I probably would have avoided as uh, Kenley, you know, doing the gravity pull that, that close to the opponent. Uh, you, you were just begging to be punished. Right there. Now, what I, from what I understand, like, there's no real use of that uh, the star bitch shot. I, I think it was. Uh, I think it's just for head stun. No, no, you, you get nothing out of it. I, you get you have you get from my understanding from talking with uh with Sammy is that there's like no follow up you get from that. Is that the worst game of all time or is this the worst game of all time? But then again that was also that was also the last patch, so it could have been changed. But, but I don't I don't think you get anything from that. And I've seen him I've seen him use that quite a bit today. Probably so just, probably just a bad damage. Could be. I mean, I, I mean, it could be. I mean, if anything, you could have also just kept driving with uh, Rosa to help you know, create a little bit more distance. If I was, I think Cosmo would have been able to do that. Oh yeah. I mean, that, that pretended she was still already high up. So, just using that stock, you know, using the stall bits. Oh, wait, yeah. I was like, to me, me personally, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can't go. It's Pete. He won game one. Kevin? Okay. Alright, so Kevin made his counter. You know that game was made in less than one place. I really want to know, because, like, it's, it doesn't seem like the stage is that big. That would help each one also benefit Rosa. Yeah. So this it would be a hard pick for me, and me personally. No, I was like, man, this is horrible. So you see what you see right away. Uh, Tornado staying back, waiting for Rosa to come to you know to come to him. And now just using the using up and on the platforms. Good shield, good shield pressure. Don't speak into him. What was that first one you mentioned? That was all three. Alright. Good dog. Yeah, Tony has to give it to Luma to try to get in. I mean, which he's, he's been having to start doing that. And here comes up as good patience by Kenley, but just missed it. Tony has to be able to, has to, be able to watch that because he's Kenley's trying to pick up on that uh that toad stall. Just like that. And if he if he probably had Luma that that would have been a clean punish. Now we got the red Luma. Now do you know the names of the Lumas? There's uh I, 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 I know at one point and then I, I like completely I forgot. I know people have, have come up with the names. Yeah. And, but I have there's no a tweet about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's an interesting he's option been, to go for. He's been, yeah, he's I've yeah, I've seen him do told a lot. But he's also doing it close to the ground so so I mean, it does give some, you know, some benefits. <laughs> down, down there, the upstairs conversion for the kill, very nice. Probably, probably would have waited a little bit more than that smash. Maybe, maybe pull up a turn. Maybe pull a turn and blow it up to get have some little bit more coverage. And then down smash. What was that, falling neutral air into it? Uh, maybe, I don't know. 
good down air out, I would have dipped. Ooh, okay. That's a good punish. Good read, but uh, so near was a good punish right there. Very good, very good punish. Also made sure to get the ball. Oh, he had the ball. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if he recognized that he had the bomb, or maybe he did, and just knew he was going to blow up soon enough. Probably. Also, that's another thing I noticed that he's he's picked up on the down air is actually a good tool to separate uh, Rosa and Luma. Oh, good conversion right there. An old melee classic. It is. <laughs> it is about. It is about going down. Taste the rainbows. And then mitigating loss. <laughs> That's it. Oh, there goes Boomer again. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess Kenley's having oh, a tough time trying to keep the ball alive. Oh. oh. All right. Very, very nice. Also, also convincing. Game two. <laughs> I feel like Peach has like now the biggest like teeth. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, really definitely. Her, 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 her win is. Oh, did I win? <laughs> like that's such a tease. I'm going to be as cute as possible. I think that's that's he's like I'm going to be cute and destroy you. Oh, question. How is uh how is Peach? Peach is neutral air. Neutral air? Yeah. Um, Actually, pretty slow. Like, it, it covers a lot of ground. So, like, when well, she with not her, with a knockback. Um, it can combo into itself and forward air. So, like, it doesn't push you a lot, but it's just enough to give you the space. But there was a chance towards the end of the game, actually, right when Kelly did grab it, where Kunaida could have could have floated out. Uh, Kenley was right by the ledge, could have floated out and just did neutral air, not go away. Or, or maybe even a forward air, and it would have been. Would have dropped off or Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if oh, it would touch the edge. Well, which one? Neutral No, no, you wouldn't. No, with, you could flow cancel out to Kenley because Kenley was, uh, had did gravity installed when uh, the turtle was going at him. Oh, okay. So at that, at that point, you could have gone out either neutral head or forward head and gotten the kill. Yeah, maybe. Alright, so we got game, game three on Greenland. Now this is Ken, Kenley's counter pick, which is, makes perfect sense because, you know, all of those love, love, love the stage. You know, small ceilings. Large horizontal blast zones. That, that, that sounded like a tennis racket. I looked away for a second. <laughs> oh, oh, the other one right there would hit. Could have been, you know, could have been the short hop up air. That would get some, you know, some damage out of that. Yep, Kenley's catching on to that, that toad pulling habit. Was that called the totem pole? The, like, totem pole? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna start calling it that. I like the that. The totem pole. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's what he's been, he's been doing that a lot. I really like that. And Ken, Kenley's adapted to it. So, as you see, Kenley's just, you know, Doing the good spacing and whatnot. Tornadoes is actually was doing, was doing a good job of uh, separating feature room up. Like right there. Look at that. Who's going to do the toad? The, 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 to the toad and pole. The guy, you know, <laughs> who are the toad and pole? <laughs> I think that's a great name for it. It is now. <laughs> But he's been he's been doing that a lot, and Kenley definitely picked up on a habit of his. And he's getting at least a you know a free grab out of it. Okay. See, a dream lane, you gotta be really really careful when you fast fall. Good off smash right there. Tone and pole getting punished. <laughs> Tone and pole, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling it that. Like I don't even care. Uh, but like I, I just good forward air. Okay, not and killing just quite Loom, yet. Loom is gone. Ah, see how good you really are. It's die hard and crispy. So I'm both getting pushed. 
he's going he's going at it way too much right now, and he's uh, he's getting punished for it. And it's just and now Loom is back, and now the damage now damage output is even worse. Right? Ooh, ooh, good down. Okay. Very good down. Yeah, the Luma. you got you got the Luma. But now, he's gotta, now he's got to take advantage of and take care of uh, the stock. This is like the ultimate wife reward. Does it sell? Oh yeah, which which bond are you gonna go for? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very hard. Good forward air. All that's right, gonna, that's gonna take the stock. Fifty-five percent down it on Luma isn't enough to get it to separate. Totem pole. Totem pole finally connects. Very good down there. Very nice. Pull the, yep, pulling the kind of pull. Very, very nice, interesting pull. See, I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, more up airs at a time later. Just, yeah. try, just try and cover underneath the, uh, the platforms. Yeah, only, uh, it would be only great. Actually, I actually think you could do a falling up air and it'll still work. I think so, and and if I'm... It might it might somewhat drag him down. Kind of like clouds up there. Yeah. Mm, well, in. except... Yeah. Really, really nervous right now. Oh, Caught him with that last... Uh, Put him with that last uh, move right there. The last and Kenley taking game two. 